It is said that evil cannot truly be defeated, but it can be contained. Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and welcome to my very first Honkai Fan Theory video. Of course, this is my own personal thought on this, so please bear with me on this. Just listen to what I have to say. And this surrounds around this one, this character right here. More specifically, Siren, the Hirsch of the Void. And uh, and what she, what her and Otto have to do with each other, with a little bit of Teresa mixed in. I'll get to those. I'll get to that in that a little later. Now, in the manga Second Eruption, it was after um, after she was beaten by Fuhua. Siren was knocked unconscious, and Fuhua used the Fang Huang down with, along with Otto. To have Otto go inside her 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 mind, and he used a I guess uh, the real or the or a fake version of Bella to convince Siren to use the hair the powers of the hair of death to resurrect someone. In this case, Siren resurrected her mother, and he also. He was using it to, as we all know, Otto's been wanting to resurrect Callan. By the way, don't tell him. Don't tell him he's, that, that Callan's fallen for yay, okay? Anyway, uh, back on this. It, the, I would say the, uh, the resurrection was incomplete. As something didn't feel right with Siren when she resurrected her mother. And it showed up because her mother didn't get her mother. Her mother shortly died. Shortly, her mother died shortly after. Thereafter, soon regained consciousness and went went about her her rage. Um. But uh, now, fast forward to well, I would say the Battle of Shiksal in the in in uh, in the game in the in the game Honkai Impact Third. Siren uh, had awakened in uh, the in the vessel of the the, the clone vessel of Kiana Castellana K four two three. Um, he he greeted her. Of course, it says you know he refers to her as the queen and all that other stuff. And yeah, yada yada yada. Um, he ends up going to her and I'm like thinking wait why is she so strong and powerful why hasn't she killed him yet she could have snapped her fingers and boom impaled him with a lance of course he has backups she would have killed those back backups too you know <clears throat> so back on this um he of course probably wanted to use that to once again, try and resurrect uh, Callan. Two re for you know two reasons. He think he, he thought he thought it might work for two reasons. One, K four two three's body was stronger than Siren's original body. Um, and two, it with the uh, with the Castellana genes inside, when with with the Castellana, Castellana genes, it probably would work better. Now you might argue, well, she was Siren. If, if, given Siren, uh, she probably would have uh, resur fully resurrected her mother with that case. But my argument on that is, my counterpoint on that is, by that time, Siren had fully given, her, given herself to the Honkai. She wasn't human anymore by that time. So, yeah. Back to, you know, the what I'm talking about he probably would have tried he was he was gonna he probably was gonna try and use um Siren's void powers once again to resurrect Callan okay so <clears throat> but of course things happened uh she apparently got away somehow I, I if I remember correctly they 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 all St. Freya attacked she got away. Um, 
of course, final hasn't happened, and Kiana came, uh, Kiana regained control of the vessel K423, and we all know it's happened since then. If you haven't played this part of the game, that's a spoiler, sorry. So, <clears throat> back on this, another, another theory I have, and this is something in regards to what I said at the beginning. Remember what I said? It said that evil cannot be defeated, but it can be contained. Here's the reason why I think another idea of what Otto wants to do. He's going to use... This is what I think he's going to do. In order to save the world from the Honkai and keep the world at peace, he's probably going to use her powers to trap the Honkai in the void. That's uh, that's one of the reasons why I think he's able to control her. And that, well, well, let me go back on why he didn't. She didn't kill him. I don't. I think she she didn't kill him right there off the bat because when he created the clone K four two three, he installed a failsafe, basically saying a little thing that says "Do not kill Auto Apocalypse." She, like I said, she could have snapped her fingers, boom, impaled him. Easy. And kill off his, kill off all, his, uh, all of his backups. But, again, she probably would have, uh, he probably would have, you know, he, he he's able, he, he probably would have been able to control her so that she can trap the Honkai in the void for, for an infinite amount of time. And, but that, could also be a bit of a problem, in my opinion. Uh, let me see how long it's uh, not that long. Anyway, um, that could have been that that could have been a problem because uh, let's just say that if if Otto would have done that, he probably would have um, used it as like a bargaining chip, if you will. Let's say a, let's say some country goes to war with Shiksal. He could just simply have her open up a open up a uh, open up you know portals to bring out Honkai and destroy whatever country or city whatever whatever or whatever she, whatever you wanted to do. And that to me would suck big time. Which leads me to Teresa. Teresa's idea for probably I mean, uh, hold on, folks. Oh, man, it's my sister's always wondering where I'm at. And I was actually, when I did that earlier, I was actually expecting her to call. Anyway, back on this. Um, Teresa, I think, wants to do what I'd call a Pacific Rim, first Pacific Rim movie idea. Remember Pacific Rim, how they stopped the kaiju from coming through the portals? Playing a bomb in the portal. But in this case, I think she wants to take some people... And use Kiana's powers to go to the void, the powers of the void, to go to whatever world the Honkai are from, and basically destroy that world with some kind of high energy explosive. I know it's short and a little short on that one, but those are my theories. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with them, you think they all merit, or do you think they're completely stupid. Just uh, be nice about it, okay? Until the next time, this is Lil Jazz saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. By the way, next video is probably going to be another Abyss playthrough video. See ya.